CES 2020 has shown us a lot of devices that are coming out within few months to enrich our gaming experience. With so many devices coming up for gamers, we thought to let you know about few devices you can keep your eye out for gaming. And in this video, we will show you the top 7 gaming devices that has been shown off at the CES 2020. AMD's Ryzen 4000 series chip is one of the most exciting products. This Ryzen processor has 8 ultra-responsive cores and 16 processing threads. It has more cores than Intel's current flagship processor lineup. The processor will be available from the first quarter in Asus, Acer, Dell, HP, and Lenovo laptops. The 4000 series is built on AMD's 7 nanometer architecture. AMD has done pretty good job. The Ryzen 4000 is the most advanced mobile chip available for ultra thin laptop. With its 7 nanometer chip, it should be more energy efficient and will provide uncompromising performance for gamers and content creators. AMD will release the processor in two different types, a 15 watt chip and a 45 watt chip. The 15 watt is designed for ultra portable laptop and the 45 watt processor is for gaming as well as content creation. And AMD has promised to provide desktop class performance with these processors. Samsung's new Odyssey G9 is an incredible gaming monitor. This monitor has been shown off at the CES 2020 and it charmed everyone who experienced the monitor. Previously, Samsung announced that Samsung Odyssey line will include gaming monitors. This futuristic ultra-wide design of the monitor looks very premium. There are LED lights on the back of the monitor. It has 1000R curvature screen and provides a blazing 240 frames per second for smooth gameplay. FreeSync and G-Sync compatibility of the monitor will give smooth gaming experience. This 49-inch monitor is the curviest monitor from Samsung yet. Alongside the Odyssey G9, Samsung also announced the Odyssey G7, a smaller 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor that comes in both 32 inches and 27 inches size. Many of us find it difficult to stream their gameplay online. Elgato has announced 4K 60S Plus card for recording and streaming at the highest quality. This device can record 4K video from Xbox, PlayStation, and PC at up to 60 frames per sec. It can also record videos directly to SD card or can stream directly if connected to PC. Elgato is owned by Corsair, a gaming hardware company, and the Elgato 4K 60S Plus will be available at around $400. ASUS has released world's first 360Hz monitor with integrated G-Sync support. It was a collaboration of ASUS and NVIDIA. Last year, ASUS showed off their 360Hz display. It was basically a prank. The monitor is designed with eSports in mind. Most of the gaming laptops come with 144Hz or 240Hz refresh rate but the ASUS ROG Swift is much smoother. Moreover, the NVIDIA G-Sync technology will provide a better gaming experience. Hence, Overwatch or CS will take the full advantage of this technology. The 360Hz 24.5-inch panel supports HD resolution and integrated G-Sync processor. ASUS claimed that they have done improvement on this monitor. The product won't be available soon and ASUS has not confirmed the price or release date yet. This year, we have seen huge improvements on monitor and Acer has announced three new Predator monitors including a 55-inch monitor and the CS2020. This giant Predator CG552K has 4K OLED panel with 120Hz refresh rate. It comes with NVIDIA G-Sync and variable refresh rate via HDMI cable. Acer has also showed off two small-sized monitors. The Predator X32 is a 32-inch IPS panel monitor. It also supports UHD with a refresh rate up to 144Hz. It also features wide 178 degree wide viewing angle. The IPS panel look very improved and viewing angle is satisfactory as it is made for gamers and video editors. The X32 will be available from Q2 in North America. Acer has also announced the new Predator X38, which has a massive 37.5 inches UWQHD Plus curved display that supports NVIDIA G-Sync. It goes up to a blazing 175Hz refresh rate. The resolution of the display and the dimension is a good combination for playing games as well as watching movies. A very notable feature of the Predator X38 is it can reproduce 98.5% of the P3 color game mode. It is a standard for movie projection these days. Now moving on to the TP-Link Mesh Router news. TP-Link has showed off a new mesh router that supports Wi-Fi 6 and 
more device connection capabilities. The Deco Mesh Router comes in three different speed tiners with faster speed. The Deco range added the Deco X90, the Deco X60 and the Deco X20 in its product line. TP-Link's new routers also support the latest WPA3 security standards. The Deco X90 costs for $99 an award-winning product for Triband system. It can cover 6,000 square feet and can connect up to 200 devices. While the Deco X60 come with dual band mesh technology and connect up to 150 devices and can cover a 5,000 square feet of area, this $2,220 router will be available from March. And lastly, the budget-friendly X20 router come with dual band technology. It is less expensive compared to the X90 and X60 and only costs $190. Companies are creating new mobile gaming hardware in an effort to replicate the design of Nintendo Switch. At CS 2020, Alienware has shown off their concept UFO prototype, which is basically a Switch-like device around a small Windows tablet. You can also dock it to use it like a computer. The basic idea of the concept UFO is that you can slide two paddle-like controllers onto the side of your Windows running tablet and you have a Switch-like gaming device at your hand. That's all we have for now. If you like the video, then hit thumbs up and share with your friends. Comment below to let us know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.